So today we're here delivering or announcing the total number of comments that we've collected thus far, which is 639,000 comments from people all across the United States who are concerned about the amount of mercury and other toxic air emissions from coal-fired power plants and who are very pleased that the EPA is taking steps to clean up this toxic pollution. That emissions from all power plants in the U.S. are responsible for 7,000 asthma-related emergency room visits and 18,000 cases of chronic bronchitis, bronchitis each year. Asthma affects African Americans at a 36% higher rate of incident than white Americans. African Americans are hospitalized for asthma at a rate three times that of white Americans and die of asthma uh, at least twice the rate of white Americans. Enough is enough. Stronger safeguards are overdue and now is the time to implement the, the, strengthening, the strengthened standards uh, to protect our communities. Our nation's biggest polluters want to block these standards, but when enacted, the EPA's safeguards should save American lives every year. Um, Boston is downwind of virtually everywhere else in the country. Uh, the air that we're breathing, uh, about half the pollutants we're breathing on a day like today are coming from outside the Boston area, uh, whether it's Western Mass or in New England, but it could be coming from as far away as the Ohio River Valley. In fact, uh, with the, the large power plants that are, that are downwind from Boston, we're getting a lot of fallout that uh, we really don't need. The city of Boston is doing what we can to reduce our energy consumption. Uh, Mayor Menino has given us some very tight uh, time frames to reduce uh, electricity use in the city and we've launched forward with them a Renew Boston program to help uh, ordinary uh, folks make their homes more energy efficient. But uh, that's not enough. Uh, we're going to need tighter regulation on um, emissions of uh, air toxics and uh, we appreciate uh, the leadership on the EPA level. Now there's been a lot of talk about costs and benefits. These things represent costs. Every time someone goes to the hospital, it costs you and me money. When we talk about sick days, it costs our economy money. We're going to see tangible monetary benefits from this work. Now that's not the primary reason you do this, but as we talk about putting people to work and, and making the economy work better, these are important. Um, these will also open up safeguards for more pollution control technology. We'll see jobs across the whole economy. 31,000 construction jobs will be generated by these rules and over 9,000 long-term utility jobs. So again, don't let anybody tell you these rules cost our economy uh, money, that these somehow drag the economy. In the long run, they'll help the economy and improve our health. So they're very, very important. This is probably going to be the fight, well, the fight of this administration on the environment. Nothing is getting more um, opposition than trying to clean up our air, because we all know why and who it impacts. I don't need to go into detail. But this is, a, this is about the people fighting for the right thing. You're weighing in, we appreciate it, and we want you to stick with it, because it's not over today, it's going to go on for months and months. Well, here in Boston, I can't give you real insights as to what's going to happen in Washington. Uh, but I, I think you can count on Administrator Jackson and I believe the President of the United States standing for uh, our environmental programs, whether those programs are attached to the appropriations process or there's a bill like the Dirty Water Bill or, or any of these legislative efforts coming out of the House to weaken environmental protection in America, I think you'll see that the President of the United States and, and Lisa Jackson will stand against that. And do you think that there's going to be a, a rider somewhere in that appropriations to do away with this? Well, there's, there, there's always riders in appropriations. I, I believe any rider will be found out, and uh, I would think it's very doubtful that you'd see any rider that would upset or, or diminish environmental protection in America by a significant level. That's not to say there won't be any, you know, no compromise position. That's not the case. But I'm pretty sure that anything that goes through will we'll continue to make sure we're protected in America.
This is an administrative rulemaking, so it has been proposed, and EPA is collecting comments on the rule right now, which is why we've helped, uh, along with our allies, to generate 639,000 comments on the rule. And it will be finalized on November 16th. That is the plan. So we do expect it to be finalized, and when it is finalized, we would like to see it uh, finalized at the same level of strength that it was proposed.